Tell us where you're from, what you are, who you are. Um, well, uh, I'm originally from uh, Two Worlds, Virginia area, out in the growing district of uh, South Australia. Uh, born and bred there all my life. And um, uh, grown up in tomato farms and definitely yep. in the, the veg game. And uh, yeah, family's always been in the fruit and veg, so I, I sort of moved to Melbourne for 10 years and uh, come back and opened up my fruit shop, St. Bernard's Fruit and Veg. Yeah, beautiful. In, uh, Ross Trevor there. And have you got one shop or two shops? Uh, mate, we had four at one stage, but it yeah, just right. got a little bit too much for me. Yeah. Uh, and I've just sold two in the last, uh, probably the last, over the course of the last six months, and I've yep. just got two now at Phil Plaza. Yeah, yeah. And uh, and the Ross Trevor store on St. Yeah, Bernard Road. beautiful, beautiful. Yeah. And so it's, uh, you know, I was, I was just saying a, a bit about what we kind of do here and speak to the weird, wonderful people of Adelaide and, uh, and you know, find those unique characters amongst us. And I must say, like uh, your style of advertising on social media has to be like probably the best of 2018 for sure yeah. because it's it's it, you got something you don't see anymore these days personality it's definitely different, like, <laughs> definitely yeah, different. yeah 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 but that's what everyone wants it's what everyone strives for but most people are too scared to get out there and, and, and go for it yep. but then you rock up and you got bloody half your face shaved and half your head shaved and and just going for it yeah you know forget the rest and, and just go for it yeah well that's my motto that's why i do uh, shave half my head and half my beard basically to say that i'm half the price of the supermarkets and yep. the, the first ad that i'd done uh with that ad my wife's there you're crazy she goes you're gonna look like an absolute idiot i said i know that i said i want to yeah. look like an idiot i said yeah. that's what people are going to look at and it snowballed ever since then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But most people don't have the balls to go out and, and get it. They haven't got the balls to do it, man. That's the difference between me. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not just a fruit or a mate. <laughs> I'm a bit of a nut. So, so is this uh, is this from you know many uh, many hours in the uh, in the back paddocks of two wells by yourself, fucking <laughs> <laughs> just concocting some type of oh, character shit. like man, I fucking when I get the chance. <laughs> yeah, no, no, that's insane. But now nah, I I've always as a kid growing up dude mate we I, I was petrified of going on stage I was petrified at my wedding I didn't even I was sh- shaking to do the speech you know yeah and now I've like conquered all my fears you know and that yeah, was yeah. one of my fears you know is getting out there in front of people but now I, I don't know I love it so how did it all come about was it a, a marketing a, a strike of marketing genius was it uh, you know, it was ha- a little bit of stroke of luck uh, uh, Nico uh, uh, what happened is I was too lazy one day to, to type in uh, on Facebook uh, all my specials because it would have been I think I had about 20 major specials on yeah. at the, for that week and um, I said to my manager I said listen I said man I can't be bothered typing out this I said I'm not very savvy with the phone uh, let's just walk around the shop I said you record me we'll do a small video and I can announce the specials <laughs> yep. and my job's done you know and I put it on and I think the first video we got was like uh, something like 1500 views yeah yeah you know, and I went to the Pracker Market the next day, and they're there, mate. Have you seen how many views your videos got? And I'm there, no. So I've logged on, and sure enough, there's a few views. And I, th- so I thought, shit, mate, that's not bloody bad. <laughs> that's you know? not bad at all. So every week, instead of typing the specials, we were just walking around the shop and announcing them. And then probably about three or four months later, I was getting a little bit more confident, and yep. um, and then I put a wig on. Yep. Right, I had a walking stick and I started I, I started hitting the walking stick on my head and I'm there crazy 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 specials <laughs> and that one got like 10,000 views and I really? said holy shit and that's how the yeah. crazy video started 
so, and and so that's the when you started sh- shaving half your beard and half your head and oh, I'd done that probably uh, a couple of months after that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So basically, they went from like fifteen hundred views to like ten thousand, and then that one with a video, I think they got like sixty thousand views when I shaved my head. Yeah, yeah. You know that went nuts, and I said, oh wow, and then and, and that's when they really went nuts. It's. You know, it, it, uh, I said to you kind of before we started, like I, I'm surprised to find out that you don't have a acting background or a, a, at least, I don't know, being Zero. in the public eye, yeah. be, being out there and, um, and, and, and putting on a show because it definitely does come natural to you. And just it, it's really good to see, I think, in marketing these days, personality and yep. um, the, the way that you interact with people and yep. they're just people like I was watching some of your, your, your videos before and and there's customers coming through and you're kissing a lady on their head and you're like hey yeah. how you going love oh you know this, this, love this. and you keep going through you get people involved and they do love it they love it that, everyone loves that stuff yeah. and and it's just uh, uh, you know not everyone can pull it off I'm yep. sure if there were other people that did exactly the same thing as what you're doing they yep. wouldn't get the results and, and yeah. some of that comes into personality but yeah. uh, what what do your family think now um they're a little do they bit encar- skeptical do they the encourage it oh yeah for sure yeah like uh, in a couple of my videos in the earlier ones uh you know always going on about my nuts uh, with walnuts and incorporating my testicles and you know <laughs> yeah, in with yeah. the ad tying it in and my old man mate used to ring me he goes don't fucking put that on air you're gonna embarrass me i said dad relax mate we're doing it for views you know yeah yeah so he you know once he's seen and you know like you know like oh, last last christmas video i'm there like santa's santa sex a fool you know santa yeah. claus loves the hose 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 yeah, you I know? Saw that. <laughs> ho, ho, ho. santa loves the hose and i was just watching that before and I'd, fucking hell man i'm pissing myself laughing going, Look, yeah. that's gold because you know when it, it's it always strikes me and especially around Christmas time and whatnot when you go see a lot of family that you maybe don't see all the time throughout yeah. the year and stuff and yeah. you kind of expect it to always be on your best behaviour it doesn't matter if you're five years old or you're fucking yeah. 50 years old you yeah. have to be on your best behaviour and, and um I hate that shit. I just want to... I just want to be me, man. Yeah. I just want to be me. Just and, relax. And, and that's how I feel, you know, when I'm doing my ads. Um, I want to sell my fruit and veg. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. But I want to be... Well, I want to try to be a little bit funny at it. Yeah. But more importantly, I just want to be me. That's exactly how you see me on the ads. That's how I am at home. Yeah. With my kids, this, that, my missus. How many kids have you got? I've got three kids. Three kids. Yeah. Missus. Yeah. Two yeah. businesses. Two businesses. Fucking. Now. My wife's got an online store, which is a yep. fashion designer for SCK, the label. Yep. Uh, we're busy, man. Yeah, busy. yeah. We, we've got a busy, busy lifestyle. Yeah. And and do you love it? I like being busy, man. Yeah. Busy is good. Keeps you occupied all the time. Yep. Keeps the mind going. You know. And you, you you mentioned uh, you moved over to Melbourne and um and you've got family over there as well because I see you get some like special guests yeah. <laughs> come into your videos. Is that one of your cousins or? Uh, which one was that? Oh, big fella. Flavor, 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 flavor. flavor. Well, he, <laughs> mate, he was an internet sensation. Was he? And yeah, I just started communicating, liaising a little bit with him over the um, over the the internet there. And uh, I said to him, I said, dude, I said, because he got he got like a million a million views um, a while back, yeah, you know, okay. twelve months ago or so. And um, I said, mate, I'll fly you down here. Let's do an ad together. You know, we sort of tied in because he's got the chicken shop. Yeah. I supply chicken shops. <laughs> yeah, and we sort of tied it in together. Yeah. But Basically saying, if he was, if he had his chicken shop in Adelaide, he would he'd buy get everything. He would get everything from me, and that worked really. That just went, mate. That took my uh, cafe business through the roof, you know. Yeah. Yeah, because he's got a major, like he's got a very, very big following. Yeah. And uh, that was something different. And and on top, we you got guys together were hilarious, we man. We killed it. We nailed <laughs> yeah, it. And dude, it was there was, mate, rehearsing. When I tell you the truth, there yeah. was ten minutes of rehearsing. Yeah. We knew roughly what we were gonna do. Yeah. But man, it was one shot. One We've take. One take. That's it. All my videos. I think I've had about three videos with two or three takes. Yeah. That's it. And, and are you getting better at that? Like that's something you've like gone. All right, no, nah, fuck it. We're doing it in one and that, just. Oh, oh man, because I scream, yell a lot of the yep. times, man. My throat's killing me. So I said, dude, like, let's just get it once. If we fuck up, 
we fuck up bad yeah. luck you know yeah, we're, yeah. we're just people like up. people like to see people they fuck like, up as well they like the fuck ups mate yeah like the absolutely that's why you stick around at the end of the movie and you watch yeah. after the fucking uh, things come down and it's always oh man that was the funniest bit fucking. yeah that's it true <laughs> very very true so you, you you know it's fruit and veg um is something that i guess is always going to have to be there in in ourselves as you know living in in a community in a society and whatnot but like everything else it gets attacked by the big big end of town and and uh, it's always seemed to me that it'd be a super hard business to to be able to manage and run because you've got a you've got a short kind of shelf date on things you've got a lot of competition and yep. and you're in a game where volume wins that's right um how how do you, how do you go competing against those big guys, the, the Woolworths and Coles and all of that kind of stuff? Or mate, the the supermarkets, you know, like back in the day, they used to just sell their toiletries and all that sort of stuff that goes with it. They sort of kept away from the meat department, the mm. milk department, you know, the breads, and they they sort of left it for the other businesses. And then all of a sudden, now they just want to dip their dicks in everything. Yeah, you know, pardon my French, um, but. <laughs> It's guys like us that have to make a difference, and I'm not going to make a difference by myself, but, you know, and I try telling all the guys in the market, let's try to form some sort of a committee. At least we can take on these bastards. Yeah. You know, why can't they have a price war with fucking, fucking toilet paper or toothpaste? Why do they have to have a price war with milk? Yeah. And it fucks our growers, yeah. and they can't put food on their table Yeah, because they want a fucking price war on milk, and same with the bread. Yep. You know, and it just fucks up the whole industry. Yeah, absolutely. You know? Absolutely. And, and they're doing that with meat, veg, dairy, you know, and, and all those sort of produce lines. Yeah. Mate, and like I said, me, myself, is not going to make that difference, but if I can open up everyone's eyes, expose them a little bit. Yeah. I'd like everyone to see that and sort of help join in on the cause, you know? Yeah, and, and keeping things local. Keep you know, things keep, local. keeping local local and um, you know, the, the thing that really strikes me nowadays is is looking at the amount of packaging that gets put into shit. Um, you know, oh, what was it the other day that Woolworths had? They had, they had sliced apples in a bag but each slice of apple came in its own separate it, little bag is that right what like a little f- plastic sleeve yeah wow why, yeah. why the fuck would you do that when you can just put an apple on the shelf it makes yeah. no fucking sense to me yeah. whatsoever unless it comes down to just mass production like because you don't have to pay for for packaging the apple comes with packaging it's yeah. made with it it's fine it's you made, just put yeah. it there it's it's all good yeah. so wouldn't that cut your costs and, and it just fucking pisses me off mate they're, they're just trying to do something that someone hasn't got they're trying to do something that the fruit shop can't do we can't yeah. give them that because we're just that's just ludicrous it almost seems to me like it's um uh you know like we live in the day and age where you can't have your kids down the creek playing in the creek in the dirt and all that kind of shit you go oh fuck you know everyone needs to be super clean super germ free and all all of that stuff and when they over package all these things I think it sets off a psychological thing in people's heads and go well at least that's got enough protective barriers before anything bad could have gotten to that and tickets except for anything (laughs) just leave the apple intact you fucking morons we we try to um, uh, with our shops uh, well it's less costly for us but we do try to keep the packaging side of things as minimum as possible yeah i like someone to come into my fruit shop look we have got plastic in there don't get me wrong um but like i said at an absolute bare minimum yeah you know so they come there they select their stuff they put it in their produce bag a lot of them bring their own produce bags yeah um we get charged 10 cents a bag i've got to charge 10 cents a bag yeah know? yeah so uh we just keep it at plastics i hate plastics yep. and we, we've we're, we're riding right into the recycling with the cardboards and all that sort of stuff so which is very very good yeah try to keep uh, keep everything green as do you get a lot of the like damaged fruit and stuff like that to, to come through as well like there always seems to be a uh, a bit of a brouhaha 
around um, the the I guess the attractiveness of some some produce and and then you know it just gets rejected because it's not the right kind of shape yeah. and well uh, Nick I I specialize in second grade fruit yeah um, I always say fresh seconds are the best um, I can keep my prices well under half of the supermarkets and it's still a good product big deal it's got a scratch on it Nick yeah who yeah. cares yeah now you tell me the mother goes in and wants to pay 5.99 for apples because it's fucking shiny <laughs> come to my shop it's going to have a dimple on then you're going to get it for a buck 99 yeah, you? yeah and you might even end up on a fucking ad facebook ad well, man fuck me if you're how lucky how good's that <laughs> how good is that yeah <laughs> it it, 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 it how, how many people come in and, and uh, come in to just see yourself or just see what's going on? Or what, are, uh, do you get a lot a few, of feedback? We're getting just, you know what, Nick, just probably the last three to four months, the feedback has been getting extra high. It's like there's an extra hype going on. I, I don't know if uh, my, my page followers have just gone like to nearly 11,000. Yeah. And... A lot of them are customers. They're starting to filter through. Look, a lot of the customers might come to the shop um, to check it out because they're there. What, what's going on here? Like, what's happening with yeah, yeah. fruit and veg? So we we filter a lot through, but a lot of them aren't happy with like the way my shop's set up, or you know. And I'll see a few people come in. They'll buy a few bits and pieces and they'll walk out. Then other people, like I would say, ninety five percent of them mm. are like, "Oh wow, this is I didn't we didn't even know this was here." Yeah, yeah. And it's my my ads have travelled right across Adelaide, yeah. and it's bringing them from everywhere now. You know, it's bringing them from suburbs that I never thought. You know, prospect customers. Yeah. You know, they're, they're travelling 10, 15, 20 minutes drive. You know, to come well, out. You do, and and I again, I was looking before, and I'm like, fucking hell, man! You do have some cheap fucking prices. There is like, some very but good behind all the uh, all the fun and games and entertainment and not whatnot, it is definitely cheaper prices like I, I really don't eat that much fruit and veg because i'm just i'm just a fucking yeah. idiot but um i uh when you do, i'm always you know bananas are probably one of the things that i remember years ago when bananas you pay like six bucks for one banana or something and yeah and uh, i saw something that you had what was it 2.99 a kilo or something like that or dollar 99 a kilo or something like yeah. fucks and jesus christ that's bloody cheap yeah. i gauge everything on the price of bananas these days yeah yeah well i i, I really <laughs> Really try as hard as possible to try to keep my bananas at a dollar ninety nine, mate, all year round. Yeah, right. Unless there's like a uh, storm or, yeah. or or they shorten up, but there, there's probably about three months of the year where you, you've got to go your two ninety nine. Yeah. But if I'm two ninety nine, guaranteed, Coles, your Woolies, and that will be on four ninety nine. Yeah, you know, yeah. The, you can just about say. And Coles and Woolies and all of that kind of stuff. Are they trying to encroach on that? I I remember being in Coles the other. Oh, it was a couple months ago and they had a big bloody sign on the wall and it and it just like said something like a uh, shop local south australia or something like that i'm like, in coles yeah the fuck man they're not from south australia what yeah. the fuck is going on here and uh and then i saw what is it it's from out two wells way um rainbow fresh yep yep rainbow fresh lettuce yep and uh, i was i was somewhere and i went oh rainbow fresh lettuce they used to be customers of mine and fucking yeah they're, they're yep. good blokes what the hell did, how did they get this into i think that was in woolies and uh yeah do, do they try to poach poach out the arse end of the um of the local producers and then kind of just champion themselves if they see something like you guys working and, yeah. uh, and making a difference i think what's happening now uh because the the growing industry is a little bit uh, the weather hasn't been the best. It's been up and down like a yo-yo. So mm. let's just use apples for an example. Yeah. Uh, they got hit with the hailstorms when they were smaller. So they got these big dimples in there, literally from the hail. Yeah. Right? And there was, instead of saying being uh, 80% premium fruit, 20% seconds, there was it was probably reversed last season. Yeah, okay. It was probably 80% seconds and 20% premiums. Yeah. So that means your premium fruit's going to run out real fast. Yeah. Then supermarkets, if there's no premiums, so they done a big campaign saying uh, little, uh, what what do they bloody call it? Uh, 
like little hailstorm heroes or something like that yeah to, to basically say look we're, we're running this fruit in our stores in our department stores you know and they made themselves look good yeah just to say like oh we're helping out the grower but mate they, they had no choice yeah do you know what i mean yeah try to do that all year every year yeah not just when there's an issue you know because yeah. the rest of the apples they want to throw them in the bin yeah they want the growers to send them into juicing whereas i'll put them on my in my shop and like i said they won't be 4.99 or 5.99 they'll be 99 cents yeah and they eat just as good nick yeah There's absolutely no issue with them absolutely and and so you i mean you've got um well, it looks like you got bloody half the car park full of produce and whatnot. Uh, yeah, well, we've out, had out to the expand. front there, and yeah, 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 yeah. So it looks like it's it's very busy, and I love that style again of of that bricks and mortar marketing. And, yep. and there's no point of having your shop open if nobody can see what you got. Yeah. Um. Right. And and I've always been a great believer of you know you got to make you you have to make it look like something's happening yep, all the right. time. Yep. Something is happening. It doesn't matter what it is, just yep. as long as it's something. 100%. And as long as you can keep as, as long as you can keep giving people good service, yep. then they're gonna want to come to you. Absolutely. And, and it's funny, you know, you get someone from Prospect driving all the way out to see you. Yep. They they're just gonna want to fucking be involved. Yep. See what's happening, see who this guy and, and you you mentioned um, being on the on the project. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that How was, does that uh, happen to a kid from Two Wells, you know? <laughs> well, that was to do with the fire that I had at the back of the place uh, at my fill shop. Yeah. Um, I had some uh, guy light up my bins there. And uh, well, just as well, it, it only burnt my forklift and my bins at the back. But yep. anyway, I, I rocked up there at 8 o'clock and um, uh, my manager said, mate, you, you need to come down to fill. There's been a fire. So I darted out there and sure enough, there was a few bins burnt, this and that. And the news crew was there. Yep. And then they started interviewing you and me and then mate before you know it I had like four or five camera crews there and I'm there what the fuck's going on here it's only a small small a bin fire it was a fucking bin fire <laughs> yeah. yeah fair enough so they started interviewing this and that and then they must have been looking up on my uh, actually one of one of the guys from the news crew goes me and he goes oh, I've seen you on fire are you that crazy fruiter I said yeah I said yeah <laughs> so then 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 all of them are all on their phones checking out my website this and that yeah and then they oh come on did you want to do a little ad or something actually no no, no. I said I said to my manager I said look I said while we're here we've got the news crew I said Nino I said let's do a sh- let's shoot a bit of an ad here right and uh, and mate they're there wait 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 they all put their cameras on me yeah and I'm there like whoa radio and that's when I went that one two three come on mate let's go you know that is so funny and mate channel 10 sent it to the project yeah and the project put done a segment on me and I'm there like wow I just couldn't believe it got thousands and thousands of views oh it it would do did did you have a lot of people coming through and making comment on that kind of thing or mate if I had that that week, I had that many people Nick coming into the shop, like that that they they seen it all over the news. Oh, is everything all right? Like a lot of my good yeah, customers, yeah, yeah. and my old Italians. Like I'm talking like 70, 80 year old people. Johnny, you all right? This and that. I saw it on the news. I saw you on all the channels. Yeah, and what's the, going on? What's going on? <laughs> my fun call. You know? No, it was fucking. I just couldn't believe it, man. The exposure was huge yeah 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 and, and not only that like um, uh, before they caught because they actually caught the uh, the fire oh, did they? yeah yeah they caught him they caught him a few days later uh, and that was the big thing you know why did he do it it was mentally ill <sighs> yeah yeah it wasn't playing with a full deck the poor bastard and, yeah. but before I knew all of that like I, I was saying on one of my ads you know I'm going to shove this cucumber up your ass <laughs> this and that <laughs> said come and see me yeah yeah, yeah. just, just, all, you know, just yeah. playing with it you know and um Mate, like two days later, uh, he came down with a fucking tube of lube, and he said, "Right, I'm ready." <laughs> yeah, and I went and picked the biggest fucking cucumber. Let me tell you, come back with a pumpkin. Oh fuck! <laughs> yeah, no, it was uh, it was good. And then, uh, like, SA Police put a thing on the uh, on their Facebook saying yeah. basically they've caught him and that. And then I thought, holy crap. And I actually had his brother-in-law ring me and say, mate, this guy done it. Actually, before I even seen it on... Uh, oh, no shit. Yeah, and I thought and I thought it was a bit of bullshit, you know? Yeah. 
but it was him. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. And then there was messages to and fro with the with the guy, the the, the arsonist, and he wanted to come apologise. And I said, yeah, come. I said, you know what? Let's do a video together. And I was going to turn something. You know, negative into a positive and maybe help him out. I didn't want to press charges because I yeah. felt sorry for him. But I had to for my insurance. Yeah, you yeah. Know, so yeah, for sure. Yeah, no, it was just a bit of a it was a bit of a weird situation a bit of a shame. actually. Yeah. yeah. It, it is a, it, it's it's um it's really sad in this kind of day and age, or not really this day and age, but it just seems more prevalent this day and age that people do fall into these kind of holes and, yeah. and mental health and, and uh, have a fucking hard time <coughs> of it and don't really know how to cope and end yeah. up getting themselves in. Like, it's just stupid trouble, isn't it? Yeah. You know, yeah. Walking past and you set something on fire, like, fucking hell, man. Two o'clock in the morning, man. Yeah, Fuck. yeah, yeah, yeah. It just, it just seems like a bloody way. So hopefully he, uh, he, he sees the error of his ways. But, hopefully uh, he's learned his lesson. That's the main thing. You've had a car in the front of the shop as well, have you? Oh, mate, that, that shop, my, my shop at Phil, that's been cursed, mate. That, <laughs> that's had cars go through it, like, uh, literally 30 seconds prior that car going straight through the shop. Mate, yeah. there was an old lady shopping right there. She would have been instant fatality, Cause guaranteed. Where, whereabouts is that? What uh, road's that on? That's on Glenburn Road. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Phil yeah. Plaza. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so there wasn't any protective bollards in, in the front no. of the shop, and some lady, she's she's hit the fucking gas, and she's just fucking launched straight through the building. Oh, man. And, yeah, done No some, one hurt? No one hurt. No Holy one hurt, shit. Man. When was that? Uh, that would have been probably a, a good 15 months ago. Yeah. Yeah, so I, I actually, I've got photos flat out of all Yeah, I've you seen know. you use them, and I, th- I th- like, I'm glad I actually read the comments, because I was like, yeah. fuck, man, that dude's shop got smashed by a car as well. Yeah, <laughs> which is which is true. The, the car's gone yeah, yeah. there. But now what I do every time, every time I've got a stupid special on, like I would say, mate, have a look. This is what happens, you know, when I've got walnuts for four ninety nine or, or mango goes for 99 and I'll recycle that photo and every time I put that fucking photo up Nick yep. again again <laughs> can't you fucking see it's the same it's car the same you car. stupid it, fuck it could be a sadistic fucking uh, like fucking meat eater who just hates fuck. vegetables he's like I'm gonna fuck that dude up and yeah. his goddamn vegetables unbelievable so do you, uh, you're not a vegetarian yourself I'm not vegetarian mate does it fucking look like it I know some big <laughs> vegetarians I know some big really? vegans yeah really and it was funny because like like, you know, a, a big vegan, it just doesn't seem right, does it? Certainly not. But. Unless they've got get a thyroid a, problem. Well, no. Well, maybe. Yeah. Maybe. I haven't been that involved in the medical history. But yeah. um, it's because they deep fry everything. Really? Yeah. Fucking batter it and deep fry it. Now, if oh. you're going to have something that you're not, oh, Fuck man, this me. tastes a bit bland. Yeah. Deep fry it. Fuck. Just fucking deep fry it. Deep fry everything. Don't worry about it. Just smash it in the deep fryer. That must be American. Yeah, yeah. Well, at least it's not as bad as fucking American diets, yeah. man. It's uh, it's it's a little bit. Oh, well, we're probably we're getting there. But uh, I had a McRib the other day. Okay. And yeah, I heard McRib about them. came yeah. out. Yeah. I was thoroughly disappointed yeah. in the McRib. It was ju- it was it was disgusting. <laughs> really? What the sauce was shit or the sauce was terrible? Yeah, the sauce that. was terrible. You know, like um, do you like barbecue sauce? No, I hate barbecue sauce. Really? Man. Yeah. I see. I like barbecue sauce, yeah. but I don't like it when they fuck around with the barbecue sauce. Yeah. And they fucked around with the barbecue sauce too much. And so you'd hate this thing if you don't like barbecue sauce. But man, I like barbecue sauce. I still hated it. It's fucking terrible. Yeah, that's not good, mate. I'll stick to the old traditional whoppers, mate. Traditional whoppers. Yeah. Or <laughs> or the cheeseburgers, mate. So what's the best seller? at the shop then uh, your major seller look we're huge in tomatoes obviously because we've got a tomato farm out in two wells uh, we yep. have been we have since 1956 um, uh, so tomatoes is our major yep. um, but traditionally you've got your uh, potatoes bananas yep. and then tomatoes are your major sellers but whereas ours is tomatoes because we specialise in them yeah yeah and, and how many tons of tomatoes would oh, you uh, the shop uh, the shop on a quiet week would probably acquire, I reckon, probably about three tonnes a week of tomatoes, just the one shop, no uh, my shit. major shop, uh, yeah, the one on St. Bernard Road. Um, and then in sore season, we're selling a five tonne a day. Five tonne a day? A day, yeah. That's, no shit, That's for man. two months straight, six days a week. Fuck. 
Yeah, like we're open seven days, but Sunday sales aren't that good. But yeah, huge. Like that I is th- crazy. I think, I think my record on tomato sales, but because we're in little chops field there with all the Italians. Yeah, yeah, you're in the perfect spot for it. We we sell fresh sauce and then they make it. Yeah, you know, so we sell the raw tomato to them. Uh, I think we sold about twenty two pallets in one day. Twenty two pallets. Yeah, holy 22 shit! Man. And that's fucking hard work too. Oh mate, yeah, that's that was, backbreaking work. That that was that killed me, mate. And what hours are you working a day? In summer, uh, when source season's on, uh, which is normally January to March. Yeah. Uh, but January, February, those two months, uh, those two months of the year, where I, well, I'm there. I start at probably two thirty in the morning, and I work right through to eight o'clock at night. Fuck man. Yeah, and if I sometimes I get to go home, have a nap, and then get back into it again. Other than that. Oh, Let's go to sleep on the floor. Fuck, man. <laughs> that's, that's pretty pretty crazy. That's a lot of hours. And and is this something to... Did, is this a family kind of thing? Like your parents were doing the same thing as what you're doing now? Selling and- sauce. Yep, 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 yep. yep. That's... Uh, well, we used to have the Italians come down to uh, our farm in Two Wells uh, back in the day. And they used to load up their HQs and HZs, mate. The, you know, the, the, those massive trunks there. And they yeah. used to unload all their tomatoes there, line it with plastic. And <coughs> basically... Uh, uh, um, the old man sort of stopped doing that because they, you know, with Hassett, this and that, it's no good to have so many people come there. Yeah. Um, because they supply, actually, they supply, my, my father supplies Coles, Woolies, ironically, mm-hmm. um, <laughs> and Hungry Jack, Subways. Yeah, yeah they're, right. they're huge in that. Um, yeah, so, um, yeah, uh, I've taken a lot of that business. Yeah, you know, where the old man sort of said, "I can't do it anymore. Go and see my son." And yeah. that's why my business sort of like ignited because, like, we took a lot of customers that he had that he couldn't service anymore. You know, yeah, yeah, which was good for me in a way. Yeah, you know, absolutely. So, and and then word of mouth, Nick. They, you know, once you've got a good article and you put it out there for the right price, yeah. Oh, things just snowball. 100 yeah, yeah. Yeah. And and I think and and once you can repeat that a couple of times as well, then people they, there's no point in going anywhere. You've Else, you just just dished up, yeah, yeah, and, and a lot of the tomatoes for sauce do come off my farm, yeah. Um, obviously, not enough because we, we saw that much of it. Like, I've got uh, I've got three growers in, in Virginia, two walls district, plus, yep. our, plus our stuff, yeah, plus I've got a buy out of Victoria as well, yeah, right. The shortfall, yeah, wow. Was, that's <coughs> how, how much how much stuff do you have to get from interstate or, or uh, imported kind of stuff? Look, probably, yeah, uh, interstate, um, on a flat out week, probably about 50. 15 pallets. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Of, of Which isn't a huge amount if you're selling five a day. Yeah, oh, <laughs> That's well. That's fucking pretty good. Most of it's coming out of the uh, out of the Two Walls district. Yeah. yeah. But there is a lot of customers that do want the Victorian stuff. Okay. You know, because they grow them bigger there. Yeah, right. And then they just peel them and they jar them. Yeah. Whereas the stuff in Adelaide's a little bit smaller and it's yep. got less uh, less water in there, which makes the better sauce for the Italians. The yeah, more, okay. The more meat it's got, the more thicker it's going to be. Hey, there you go. Yeah. Learning some secrets there. See, I don't know nothing about <coughs> any of that kind of stuff. Mate, that's my life, mate. That's what you've been... That's the, uh, well, the bread and butter. It's yeah. The tomatoes and tomatoes. <coughs> tomatoes <laughs> is our major, mate. That's guaranteed. And, and you know what, Nick? That's the difference between my fruit shop uh, a lot of the fruit shops do sell sauce but they're nowhere near as big as us yeah um but your supermarket chains can never take that away from us no nah, no nah. you know what i mean yeah That's oh, absolutely the difference. Uh, you can come to my shop and you can buy a whole sack of local walnuts for a damn good price where you'll be lucky to find walnuts in a supermarket on the yep. shelf. Yeah. You know, there's certain lines there that we, like chestnuts, you won't see, you hardly see them at Coles and Woolies, only in certain areas, in yep. certain pockets of Adelaide. Yeah, yeah. Whereas, you know, chestnut season, mate, like our shop's full, full. of it, you know? Full. And, and so what, what do you have... Uh what do you have up your sleeve for your uh, for your your social media social followings media. at the moment? Well, this Saturday uh, I've got George Capignaris. I don't know if you you know George Capignaris. <laughs> yeah. Well, he's actually coming down uh, to do an ad with me. Um, How the fuck did you tee that up? Yeah. Well, I I actually done an ad with George Capignaris. I don't know how long ago it was. I reckon probably about six to eight months ago. Did you? And he got a hundred and three thousand views. 
No shit. It went off. Well, the chicken man, we got 153,000. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And George, um, if you have a look, my go back in my past. I don't know how far how far back it was, uh, but we we got 103,000 views, man. It was fucking huge. We got a real big gig out of that. Yeah, yeah. And I just texted him the other day, and I said, George, I said next time you're in Adelaide, dart past the shop, we'll do an ad. You know, he goes, I'm here this weekend and this was on like Monday I said well fuck me let's do it let's fucking do it <laughs> let's get the band back together so he's there <laughs> mate go and get a Freddie Mercury fucking uh, costume what? he goes cause it's gonna be on for the fucking young and old so you know what I sent my son down to the costume shop today I said go and get that fucking costume son. is that what you is that a yellow thing yeah, you're wearing yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah so, so I was just sort of prepping it up you oh, know oh man dude you've definitely got some confidence yeah, definitely got some de- confidence Confidence, oh. fucking bloody shirt undone, dancing yeah. around, fucking getting into it. That is, uh, that's absolute gold. Um, yeah. do, do you see anything coming of that side of life for yourself? Do you see that? Look, Nick, I, I really don't know, man, because a lot of people are saying, like, you know, you should go and do something on there. No, man, like, I muck around at the shop, sort of keep it there. Yeah. Um, I'm happy to continue what I'm doing, but, hey, you, you never know what's around the corner, eh, dude? You oh, know. exactly you right. Yeah. No, uh, and and I I think that's where some of the the you know the best stars that have ever been have come from just the unique ways of people yeah. just being themselves and fucking yeah. finding their own way onto like huh what oh yeah we're doing some shit here are we all right well fucking let's yeah just it, continue it just can't, not I'm not saying it comes well it does come natural but you know it, I, I just feel like I've got confidence you know what I mean yeah yeah and, yeah and that's and and, and you're I've, on a bit of a roll. We are on a bit of a roll, so Definitely. until you know what, I'm going to milk it for as long as possible. Um, if I yeah. can get, if I can get, the, look, my ultimate goal is look, it's not going to be popular forever, yeah. right? It might fizzle out in the, maybe the next six to twelve months. So while it's running hot, build that following up and turn those followers into customers for my shop. Yeah, absolutely. Where the bread and butter, you know. And, what I mean? and do you hope to have the kids following your footsteps in that kind of in that way? And uh, my kids are. Uh, no no <laughs> I, my oldest son he's 18 yeah nearly and uh, he works full time at the shop yeah uh, he's keen to stay in the shop take over the shop and what have you um they, they don't really want nothing to do with the ads. I've told them, I said, come in, jump in on the ads, you know, nah, 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 nah. Nah. Sort of yeah, probably more shy. Than any- yeah, and I guess it's, um, you know, when you're 18, you don't want to jump on dad's back and like, oh, yeah, yeah fucking, shut the fuck up, dad. <laughs> yeah. yeah, well, that's what happens, mate. <laughs> oh, man, absolutely. You know, like, when when uh, I'll, say to, I'll say to my wife and my kids, I'm there, look, I'm going to do this for my ad, they're there. Don't fucking do it. You're gonna look like a fool. So that's exactly what I do. Exactly the opposite. Yeah, yeah. Of what? Because then uh, I know it's gonna be a good ad. The reverse psychology. The reverse. Yeah. <laughs> so I'll say, hey, I'm doing this. What do you reckon? No, 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 no. Don't be an idiot. And same with my mother-in-law. You know. Do, like, do you like Seinfeld? Uh, t- fucking hate it. Do you? Oh, oh man, it, dude. There's oh, there's these few episodes that um that George he 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 just. He's like, fuck, I'm a loser. I'm the biggest fucking dickhead that there's ever been. Like, I can't get anything right. Every single thing I ever think naturally, this is my instinct to do, is wrong. And I think Jerry turns around and goes, we'll just do the opposite. So he just spends all this time. He's like, whatever he thinks he should do, he just stops. And he's like, does the opposite. No, I'm fucking opposite. And his whole life changes. (laughs) His whole life changes. He he just goes with it, man. Yeah, yeah, Yeah. absolutely. And man, like we we started this off, you know, it's it's amazing what happens when you do, oh no, you just suck it up a bit and you see what happens. You you put yourself out there and you yep. and you let people have a laugh at you yep. and and I think it's it's something that a lot of people are you know they, you're a bit scared to do, but people um you just you people get given shit for doing anything these days yeah like you, you can't do anything without somebody critiquing it yep so fuck it do whatever you want just do it, right? <laughs> just yeah just yeah do just it. do it yeah. just go for it well that's that's what i've learned man and uh, like i said at the end of the day my ultimate goal is to sell my fruit and veg yeah um, and my ultimate goal is to make that customer happy to say man i i went to saint bernard's fruit and veg and i spent 20 bucks have a look have a look at all this stuff i 
bought. Yeah. You know? And then I know they're going to come back, Nick. Absolutely. And then I know they're going to tell another five people, and yep. hopefully another one of those out of five become a customer. Yeah, yeah. You know, and that, that's how businesses start. Absolutely, you know? mate. Absolutely. So it's all about getting, at the moment, getting St. Bernard's Fruit and Veg, the name, out there. Yep. Um, whether it's on social media or whether it's word of mouth, eventually someone is going to say something, oh, you know what, I'm going to go and try it. Yeah, and they come, right. And they that's do come. Right. You know, no, that's good stuff, mate. And in the and uh, and also, uh, fuck the supermarkets as well, mate. Because, <laughs> yeah. like I said, mate, they're only good for fucking our growers. Yeah. You know, it's about time they got back their own medicine and a little bit of uh, exposure of how the bastards really work. You know, they don't yeah, give a fuck absolutely. about their shareholders, and they couldn't give two shits on who they step on, whether it's farmers or small guys. Yeah. Simple as that. The buck all stops their customers. there. All their customers, mate. Yeah. We we at our shops, well, all fruit shops, all butchers, all good bakeries should have that bond with their customers where they come in and they're happy to see you. you That's know? right. And if there's a issue, mate, don't worry about your receipt. There's your credit. You're happy? Yes. You're going to come back? Absolutely. Yep. That's our motto. Yeah. You know, yep. whereas you go to the supermarket, I've got to go and see this guy, I've got to go and see, which is fair enough. They're a big unit. But... You know, they can't give the service that we give. Yeah. Simple as that. And and, and you're in a unique, I, I, I think, and I can't reiterate it enough, you're in a unique space that you can give the service and you can give the produce. 100%. It's, yeah, 100% better. Yep. 100% above. And, well, and more importantly, the prices. Thank you for coming through. Thank you. You're a legend. Not I a hope problem. you sell more tomatoes than you have ever sold before. We're get, 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 getting geared up for a big... Um, Big season, mate. This yeah, man. So nah, that's fucking awesome, man. That's Beautiful, that's mate. really really good. Well, I'm happy that I came out, man, and I hope your Fuck videos yeah. uh, fucking smash it. <laughs>